Hey YouTube family, it's Raven, back to provide you with another right on time word from the Lord. <clears throat> now before we go any farther, make sure you're taking any rhema word, prophetic word, or really anything that's popping up on your algorithm, on your YouTube algorithm, make sure you take it back to Jesus. Okay, you're spending that one-on-one -on -one time with Jesus, making you saying, Jesus, is this for me? <laughs> you know, is this pertaining to my life? And, um... The things that I'm going to be speaking about in this video should only act as confirmation for what the Lord is already speaking to you, okay? So a lot of the things that I'm going to be saying, numbers I'm giving are probably numbers that you're seeing, repetitive words that you're hearing, okay? So this should only act as confirmation. <laughs> All right, so the word is, green means go. Are you ready to move with God? Okay, so how did I get this word? <laughs> it's important for me to tell you guys the details so you don't think I'm just making stuff up or, or copycatting other people. If you ever wonder why uh, a, lot of, a lot of prophetic voices or people who are delivering rhema words get a lot of the same, the same uh, similar words, it's because we're all flowing with the same Holy Spirit, so we get a lot of the same downloads. So... You're saying, well, they're just copycatting each other. No, we just get a lot of the same downloads. So if you were, somebody was wondering that. Because <laughs> this probably isn't the first rhema you've got that says, go, move. All right, so I began hearing uh, the song Green Light by Lord again. And I was getting that song quite a bit back in November, December. So I think there was a, I think there was a big move that happened then. <clears throat> so I'm starting to get that song again. Okay. So then I went and I got this green juice from Casey's, the, it's like this uh, general store, like this little gas station general store. And they had these fruit drinks there and I got this green juice and I remember saying go on it. And I was like, Oh, go, there's go again. <clears throat> and then what was it? A few days ago, my kids were watching Paw Patrol. They love Paw Patrol. Ross dog loves Paw Patrol. I get so much confirmation from Paw Patrol. <laughs> and it was just a line. And you know when God's speaking to you because it gets really loud? You, Listen, <laughs> did somebody try? Did you kids turn that TV up? And it was just, green means go. That's what they said. They said in Paw Patrol. Okay. And so then I was thinking, okay, God wants me to release a word on this. But I said, I want to remember, I want to know what it's exactly said on that green juice. So I went and bought that green juice again, <laughs> guys. And it says, green means go. Can you read it? Green means go. <laughs> I said, no way. No way. So then <clears throat> I'm getting home from purchasing my green juice. I'm going to drink it later. Don't worry. I just didn't want to show you an empty bottle because then it wouldn't have been green. It had been clear and that would have been as cool. Okay. So <laughs> I'm getting home. I'm like, Lord, is this really from you? And my phone goes bleep, bleep. And I looked at it and it was somebody had left a comment and it showed up in my email. And I don't look at all my comments, guys. I'm getting increasingly a bit more, so I try to look at all of them, but sometimes I don't. But this one, I was like, oh, I'm going to go look at this, and it was somebody. It was Jamie Mariah. Shout out to you for acting as a cherry on top on this word. She goes on one of my words. She goes, amen, green light ready. I said, okay, let's do it. All right, so God is asking you. <clears throat> He's giving you. He is. You are at the point where he said green light go. Or he is getting ready to turn that red light into a green light, okay? And the Lord is saying, are you ready to move with me? So if you guys move, so some of you might be seeing the word move. Some of you might be seeing U-Hauls that are indicating, symbolizing movement, okay? So this could be physical move like actual relocation this could be a spiritual move okay this could be this could look a lot of different ways for a lot of different people all right so he's asking you are you ready to move so he's been preparing you to move he's been preparing you for this movement for quite some time so you're that's why the ready are you ready get ready a lot of you that are watching this you have heard plenty of times get ready be ready stay ready <laughs> lots of ready 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 is right it's following you all around all right, and you probably, a few of you might be, like I said, seeing U-Hauls. Some of you might be seeing 444, which indicates movement um, that can link back to John 444. Some of you that are watching this, you are prophets. You have a strong prophetic gifting on your life. So the Lord is eventually going to move you because we know in John 444, you know, Jesus was rejected in his own hometown. A prophet is not received in their own hometown. So he is going to move you somewhere where <clears throat> you're not necessarily, we'll just get straight to it. If you're a prophet, you got a prophetic gifting, you're going to be rejected almost everywhere you go. Okay. Get used to rejection. <laughs> 
But a lot of people where you grew up, they just don't, they don't receive you. And so the Lord's going to, he's going to position you, put you somewhere where you can be, you can be using your gift and you can be beneficial to the body of Christ. Okay. So that's why you, a lot of you are seeing that number, but remember always take numbers to the Lord. Some of you are seeing three, two, one, countdown, one, two, three, countdown. Okay. Or like NASA launching space. Okay. That's kind of the, uh, the way the Lord is, is showing this movement. There is a big move of God happening right now. <clears throat> and so that's why he's giving a lot of people uh, same numbers, same images, because we're all in this together. Amen. All right. We got different ministries, but ultimately we're all in this move together. And that's why we can encourage each other and pump each other up in it. But a lot of you are um, you're saying you're, you're moving. So you're moving into a new territory. So this could be ministry. He's getting ready to launch you, move you into that ministry. For a lot of you, this is going to be your marriage promise. Okay. I have been getting increase, increase of the song come together, come together right now. Okay. I'm getting a lot of rings on my feet, like ring, that's like almost all my ads anymore are just diamond wedding rings, wedding dresses, just it just keeps coming in. I can't get away from it. And I'm like, stop, stop, no more, no more. Ah. And it just, it just keeps coming. So for a lot of you, this is your marriage movement into marriage. So congratulations. Are you ready for that? <laughs> okay. Um, but he's ultimately he's saying new territory. So this could be new territory as in he's getting ready to bless you with, um, a higher anointing, like um, your giftings are going to be more activated. Okay, so he's like, are you ready for that new territory, that increase? Okay, I'm getting the word increase, that increase of uh, just power. You know, you're going to get that spiritual gifts. Okay, they're coming from the Holy Spirit. They're they're powerful. Okay, they're like I always say, they're power gifts. You know, like power tools. Okay, so you think of a power tool. Oh gosh, now I'm not going to be able to think of one, guys. I don't use tools. <laughs> <laughs> that's not me I gotta surround myself with people who know how to use tools Emily best friend she's a she's like the female version of Bob the Builder okay that's why God placed her in my life <laughs> but uh, you think of like a power tool you you wouldn't let a, a kid use a, a power tool right no because they could hurt themselves okay you have to be matured to be able to to use some of these power tools so some of you are getting ready to get a, a higher uh, like an increase of your power tools and that's to be used <clears throat> that is to be used for the kingdom of god okay so make sure the more power you get you know you're you're staying in that close close place with jesus christ keep yourself humble okay that's going to be one of your biggest <clears throat> one of your biggest challenges is, is staying humble as you carry the glory and the power of Jesus Christ. Remember to stay in a place of humility because one of the reasons why the Lord elevated you to that position was because of your humility. Okay. He, he elevates the humble. All right. And what does he do to the proud? He knocks them down. So stay humble. Or you can get knocked off that horse. Okay. <clears throat> but the Lord is saying, are you ready to move into that new territory, whatever it is for you? Okay. And Another way that he confirmed this, because it gives me a word he's always confirming, I keep hearing that song, Lose Yourself by Eminem. Guys, I'm not telling you go listen to Eminem. I do not listen to Eminem. I'm not, no shade against him, but I'm not a big Eminem fan. I think he's very rude. <laughs> I think he's very rude. I think he's very disrespectful because he's, well, obviously he's not following Jesus Christ. He's a sad man inside who needs a good father, right? So we should be praying for him, but no way am I telling you to go listen to this song. And with that too, I do uh, I do reference a lot of secular music on this channel. That is one of the ways that the Lord speaks to me is through music and I get a lot of secular songs. So most of my songs will be secular songs. So if you are somebody, if you are somebody who has a really, really strong conviction about secular music, my channel just might not be for you, okay? So just... Just throwing that out there because this is gonna, it's always going to be a thing. This is just how he speaks to me. But I do not recommend ever that you go listen to these songs. And I definitely don't recommend you guys go listen to this song unless you get the clean, clean version. Okay. But uh, I kept hearing that song and I'm like, why? Is it just trending right now? He says, no, I need you to get some words from this. So it says <clears throat> in this song, you know, uh, look, if you have one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. I'm a really bad rapper. Okay, but you get my you get my gist. Okay, so it's uh, opportunity. So that's your word, opportunity. Okay, seize everything you ever wanted. 
in the, like this moment. Okay, so what the Lord is saying, like this is a big opportunity for you. This is a big opportunity for you. Okay, um, and it is what you've wanted because you've wanted to follow Jesus Christ. You've wanted to live a righteous lifestyle. You want, you have God, you have God, God dreams in your heart. Okay, God given dreams in your heart. And why that is, is because you have submitted, surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. Okay, and so when you do that, the scripture that talks about, you know, God gives you the desires of your heart. Okay, well, that's because your heart is now in sync with his heart. They're beaten together, right? And so now you desire the things of his heart. I mean, not always. You're still you're still a sinner. And when you sin, you need to repent for that. But you have good godly dreams in your heart. You know, ministry is a good godly dream. Marriage is a good godly dream. Any way that the Lord desiring spiritual gifts is a good godly dream okay so everything you ever wanted like these are the things that you want you desire the lord's going to give them to you but it is it is a unique opportunity it is a unique opportunity because what's what's going on right now is there is a big movement of the lord there is a big move of the holy spirit and to my knowledge this doesn't happen all the time it does happen but it's not something that's always happening like this is a this is a specific move and congratulations you're in the movement okay so seize this opportunity don't miss this move of god don't miss this move of god you know like say thank you thank you for allowing me i didn't do anything to deserve it but thank you for allowing me to be a part of this movement i'm going to seize this opportunity that not everybody gets not every christian or every person who's walked this earth that loved jesus christ is going to get the same opportunity that you have so take it seriously seize it and be really really thankful for it that you get the opportunity to walk into ministry that you are that you get the opportunity to walk in favor the lord is bestowing a great amount of favor yeah actually i wrote that i'm getting kind of ahead of myself i wrote that because in the song it says this opportunity comes once in a lifetime and then some of you are seeing 555 so what that is is um the, the lord showed me what it is pertaining to my own personal life and to many others is, is extra grace. Like five biblically is grace. This is like abundant grace. This is like extra, extra grace, guys. You have like an extra grace, extra favor on your life. And it's not anything you did. It's just because of what's going on right now. And God is saying, there's a move happening. I'm going to use you in this movement. I'm going to give you extra grace in this hour. I'm going to give you extra favor. I'm going to pour my spirit down upon the people. And we read that in the scripture. In the end times, and yes, we are in the end times. I don't know if Jesus come back tomorrow or not. You know, he come back whenever he wants. <laughs> he's working on his own time frame. But we are in the end times. So his spirit is pouring down on people. You know, that's why you see this increase in people prophesying. This increase in dreams happening. Okay, this is awesome. This is really cool. You know, Jesus is going to be coming back soon. And and he's positioning you and equipping you to, to get more souls into the kingdom of heaven before he comes back. Like, let's get as many people as we can in, right? It's like the... Let's see if we can get a movie here, a movie clip, because I have an image, but I don't know. I don't know. I just, I get this image of like a bridge, like collapsing, right? Like it's collapsing and there's people, but you can see that the bridge is about ready to collapse and you're saying, come on, come on. And you're trying to get them to the other side before it falls and you know they, they pass away you're like come on come on and that's kind of what you're doing is you're saying let's go let's go get get into the kingdom of heaven come on this bridge is gonna go down it's gonna go down like let's get them so ultimately whatever your big move is it's gonna be in alignment with winning souls for jesus christ it's in some kind of shape form whether you're a prophet or I'm speaking to a, in a, a street evangelist or a pastor or just somebody who's starting a business who loves Jesus Christ or a musician, whoever I'm talking about, you know, to, to directly right now, uh, whatever you're doing is to bring glory to Jesus Christ and to win people into the kingdom of heaven using your, your giftings to do that, okay? But what I'm saying is the opportunity does only come once in a lifetime. Like we talked about, these these big moves of God, they don't happen every single year. So this is an opportunity once in a lifetime. Seize it and don't be afraid to go. When the green light happens, he gives you the green light. You need to go. You need to go. Oh, yeah, I wrote that too. I keep getting ahead of myself. Okay, when he says move, do it even if you're scared, okay? Do it nervous because even in that, oh, the Lord's always humbling me. I swear, guys, I'll say like... 
that Eminem or that Miley Cyrus, you know, and he's like, yeah, now you're gonna get a word by them. <laughs> So even in the Eminem song, he's talking about how he's nervous. You know, it's like, oh, I can't rap. I can't rap, guys. But he's talking about being nervous in that song. You know, like you're going up there and he's nervous. He's scared, but he's doing it anyways because he knows that this is, you know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So the Lord says, do it scared. Do it nervous. You're not alone. The Holy Spirit's with you. Okay. Okay. And some of you, a lot of you, you've been praying for this movement to happen. You're sitting here like, come on, give me that green light. Give me that green light. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rock. Okay. And um, even in that song, Green Light by Lord, it says, I'm waiting for it. That green light. I want it. Okay. And so um, a lot of you have been waiting for this green light. So when he clicks it, red light goes to green light. Move. <laughs> move as confidently as you possibly can. Okay. Do it, do it scared. Do it if people are saying, what <laughs> the heck are they doing? <laughs> Looking rather silly, okay? Okay, you're gonna be fine. Move when he says move. Okay, so a few scriptures that the Lord led me to to confirm this word, okay, to wrap it up. So Lord is a singer of that song, Green Light. And he, he only had me pull out that one line in that song. It's that... Um, I want the, I, the green light. I want it. And I mean, the rest of the song is, I'm not even sure what she's talking about. We canned it. Sometimes the Lord does that. He says, take this, can the rest. All right, let's dig into this whole song. <laughs> Follow my lead, Raven. That's what we're doing. <clears throat> Lord was born on November 7th. So make sure to tell her happy birthday. Okay. All right. So then the Lord led me to Hebrews 11, 7. And he wants me to look that up. Okay. Get up in the word. Hebrews, you guys, are, and some of you are seeing the number 11. And so this could be a few different things. 11, 11, a lot of it's remnant, like remnant arise. You're part of the remnant, okay? Lord is raising you up. But another reason why you could be seeing 11 is faith, okay? Because Hebrews 11 is the Hall of Fame faith chapter, okay? So we're going to go to 7. It says, by faith. Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear, built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he commended the world and became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping, is in keeping with faith. Okay, so um, Hebrews 11 could be a book that you guys could go read if you are struggling with faith. But what the Lord is saying is... Some of you, the Lord is saying, get ready to move, move. Movement is happening. And you're looking at your physical and you're saying... Nah, nothing's, nope, nothing's changed. Nothing, nope, nothing's changed. You want me to pack? I don't even have a place to go. You're relocating me? I don't even have a job there. <laughs> you know what the Lord is saying is Noah's building that ark out there and people are laughing at him. There's no rain coming down. There's not even a rain cloud. <laughs> and the Lord is saying, keep building. It's coming. The rain is coming. Because what happened? The rain came and it came quick. Okay, like that, that flood was there and that flood was there fast. That's what the Lord is saying is movement is coming and he's calling you to move and it's going to happen quick. So be ready, be prepared. So all them things that he's calling you to do and you're going to know because you're going to know exactly what he's been calling you to do. But maybe you're kind of dragging your feet because you're thinking, I don't see anything happening in the physical. I have time. It's fine. I'll do that next week. I'll do that tomorrow. But the Lord is saying, no, do it now. Do it now. Be prepared. So when he, the green light goes, you're not holding up traffic. You know what I mean? Like you're going, you're moving, you're following him. You're not causing any more delays on yourself or anybody else. Because when you get delayed, you guys, it can, it can affect other people too. You know, the people that you're supposed to be ministering to. Okay, so I'm going to try to think here some of the ways to be prepared. Ministry-wise, the Lord's calling you to study. He's calling you to study. Study into this. Study into this. You know, get in the Word. If you're getting called into ministry, you need to know the Word of God. So you need to be in actively studying, spending that one on time with Jesus Christ. Uh, probably a lot of fasting, different forms of fasting, to get really close to His heart, to hear Him very clearly. Okay, if you're walking into marriage, if you're a female walking into marriage, the Lord is, uh, y'all females, <laughs> ladies, okay, uh, a physical preparation along with your spiritual and emotional preparation, and some of you are, um, there is a financial preparation as well. He's calling some of you to start planning your weddings, okay, so just getting that together, 
just so when you're ready to go, because the Lord has said with a lot of these, these marriages that are coming together, they're going to be pretty quick. Like the dating season is going to go pretty quick. Everything's going to go pretty quickly. So just, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just already be prepared to kind of have an idea of the things that you're wanting. Okay. So, but it's going to look, it's going to look different for a lot of you, depending on what, uh, on what, what the movement is in your life. All right. So yeah, the Lord said he's given you specific instructions. If you're watching this, this word is for you. He's he's already given you the download, the specific instructions on what you're supposed to be doing. And this is just acting as confirmation that you need to be doing it even if you ain't you ain't seeing no rain clouds. <laughs> it ain't looking very promising. He's saying you need to be doing it. Movement, if you're being called to relocate, he is calling you to be packing your stuff up, going through things, downsizing. A lot of people are being called to downsize, get rid of the extra. Okay, get rid of the extra in this season um, and because he's going to call you to move. <clears throat> All right, so the Lord had me look up my best friend Eminem's birthday. All right, it is, his birthday is October 17th, so 1017. So the Lord led me to Romans 1017 and it says, would you look at that? It's another scripture about faith, okay? So faith comes from hearing that is hearing through the word of Christ. So hearing through the word of God. All right. So we need to be actively reading our Bibles, guys. That's what's going to stir your faith. Because a lot of you with this word, a lot of you watching this, you're struggling with your faith. You're struggling with believing the things that the Lord has called you to do. Whatever that is. He's given you a promise. He's told you he's going to do something. You're struggling to believe that. So he is really pressing you to walk in faith in this hour. And I actually have a whole nother word about faith. Okay, that I'm going to be releasing today. So the Lord is calling a lot of you. You need to trust me. You need to walk by faith. Get in the word. Be encouraged by these people who had to walk in faith. I mean, <clears throat> gosh, how long did Noah build that ark? You guys, it was a long time he was building that in faith. He did it in faith. And the whole, like I said, the whole uh, chapter 11, Hebrews 11, is a hall of fame of faith. All these people, everything they did was in faith. And God's calling you to, to operate in faith, okay? Okay. Okay, and I did hear don't speak yesterday, so no doubt don't speak. But no, just watch. Out. And so what the Lord is saying is for some of you, <clears throat> you need to be keeping a lot of these movements quiet. So don't be telling a lot of people, yeah, God's moving me, or yeah, I'm getting married, or yeah, I'm doing I'm God's gonna give me, I'm gonna be healing and delivering people, you know, whatever it is. A lot of you need to kind of remain quiet. Why that is, is because a lot of these people are not going to understand what you're talking about. And they're just not. And so what they're going to do is they might sow seeds of doubt into you. And right now, if you're battling with faith, doubt is your enemy. Okay, this isn't being sneaky. It's being strategic. The Lord is trying to protect protect what he's given you, okay? So that's just for a handful of you. And you'll know this because the Lord has been saying, you need to be quiet. Stop telling them that. <laughs> Stop telling them that, Okay. All right, and so and then the Lord also had me look up the release date of Paw Patrol. So Paw Patrol was released in 2013. What is that? All right, and so he had me look up. Oh, no, okay, so this was Strong's Concordance. Okay, so when I get numbers, I either get scriptures or he leads me to Strong's Concordance, which is a biblical book. And so I got to get better at this, guys, but there's Hebrew and Greek, okay? And he gave me both, okay? So... 2013 in the Hebrew is hush, keep silent. Okay, so don't tell people. <laughs> so he's just confirming it. He's the song and the strong to confirm. Like some of you need to be quiet about your your big move. Okay, move, move in silence, <laughs> move in silence. Okay, <clears throat> and then in Greek it was to light upon, to obtain, and then falling in line with, which I thought that was really good because like your movement, you're gonna be falling in line with the will of God on your life. You're gonna be coming into alignment, you know, with the body being positioned to be beneficial to the body of Christ, okay? I thought that was really good. But yeah, the Lord says, be ready, be ready, stay ready. <laughs> I know you're, this is a lot of the, th the same things you're hearing, but it's just acting as confirmation and walk by faith. Don't be afraid to move when the green light happens, okay? Because this is what you want. And the Lord's giving you the desire of your heart and it's going to be good. It's going to be better than 
better than you you've imagined okay it doesn't mean it's gonna be easy but it's gonna be good so trust in jesus read hebrews 11 and get your spirit pumped up okay get your spirit pumped up you're moving that's exciting and some of you i think i think some of you just i'm just gonna add this in i think some of you the lord is telling you you need to eat more green stuff be healthy green is good green means go and drinking green things is good for you amen Yeah. <laughs>